it would only make sense, would you say, that games for the Doctor Who franchise to be out and about like there is no tomorrow. Maybe in the country where you're watching this video from, Doctor Who doesn't mean much, but here in the UK, and now a bit more in the US, it is the heck of an institution. What happens if you mix two institutions? Doctor Who, well, actually three institutions. Doctor Who, Cubicle 7, and Martin Wallace. You get the Doctor Who car game. Very promising, with some very, very interesting mechanics and incredible artwork, and I know it because I've already seen it, but you haven't. Now, is it worth the amount of money you pay for this game when you go to the shops? Let's take a look inside and find out. Cubicle 7, pretty much since they started, has been producing quality game after quality game after quality game. However, they have been producing quality role-playing games. The Doctor Who the car game is the first incursion into the board game car game kind of world. And um, needless to say, they did not want to get it wrong. And in order to do it right, they went for a much-loved and well-reputed game designer, Martin Wallace. I'm not going to go into the mechanics of the game in this video, that's for another time, but I'm going to go into what's in here. Is it worth the amount of money that you're going to have to pay to get your hands on this? Let's see. This game um, has been art directed by no other than John Hoxon. John Hoxon is probably one of the hottest artists at the moment. He's done an incredible amount of work for people like Wizards of the Coast and being in Cubicle 7 this year, 2012, he uh, won the Any with the interior art for The One Ring, the latest Lord of the Rings game produced by Cubicle 7. So I'm expecting great things from the, the artwork and the layout in general and the art direction of, of, the, of the card game. Right, first of all, clever, very, very clever of Cubicle 7. It's been that instead of having the Doctor, you know, another portrait of the Doctor, because they change fairly often, there is a picture of the TARDIS. The TARDIS has not changed in the nearly 50 years that the show has been going on. So this is safe, because it means that it, as and when Matt Smith leaves the Doctor role, the next person coming will not mean that Cubicle 7 has to rehash the whole thing, which has happened in the past. The quality of the box is actually pretty good. It's, it's fairly sturdier, the most all the boxes, not by much, but it is a little bit. And I like that because I feel boxes are going to last for a very long time. They should last for a very long time. The instructions, the rules. Right, first of all, as usual, very pleasing, very clean, very themed, full of little details. You know, this is Califrain. You may not know this, but that, number four there, what's surrounding it is Gallifreyan. And I bet you anything that no one knows what that means. Because Gallifreyan is untranslatable. Anyway, good layout. I'm not particularly keen on the font. It's a little bit small. And for somebody like me with a little bit of dyslexia, it will be difficult to read. So I'm going to have to put a fair amount of effort into getting to grips with it. But the illustrations are there to help, which is very nice. Every section, every paragraph has been very nicely separated, which will make for me reading it a little bit easier. And it's okay, it doesn't put me off. It, it just prepares me for the fact that I'm, I'm going to have to put a little bit of effort into reading these rules. 
but that is not too much of an issue. There are more than enough um, illustrations around to, to aid me understand how this is meant to play. This is the aid card, which explains the turn description, the actions and the conflict, and is one-sided. So basically, this is what you're going to be referring to during play once you have read the rules. Inside, we get two chunks of tokens. This little chunk of here is full of TARDISes, since I don't think it's TARDI. Never mind. No, it's TARDISes. For four colors, the game is for three to four players. So you're going to have to have at least two friends to play with. And then you get the Daleks. Very nicely laminated, very easy to punch, which is great. And actually quite thick. I, I do like the thickness of the tokens. They feel very, very strong, which is nice. Very nice. And the illustration in the token, they, they are really cool. Quite idiosyncratic. The tide is obviously the same thing. But I like the depiction of the Daleks. If you're not very familiar with Doctor Who, you should be, you will be. The Daleks are the fiercest and more fearsome and feared race of warriors in the galaxy. And I think the only one who's ever managed to defeat them has been the Doctor which is why they call him the Predator. Baggies. One, two, three, four, five baggies. Nice detail, cubicle seven. Very well done. And two decks of cards. You get around 132 cards, I believe, with this game. Right. This, my friends, is when you see class. This is class. Not necessarily because the material is great, which it is. This is proper card for a card, and I love it. I really, really like it. They feel strong in my hand, and I am not scared of handling this even roughly. This is great. What makes these cards truly amazing, though? They, as in they, I mean Cubicle 7 could have gone for photographs you know, of, of the series. Instead of that, if the camera can pick on this, you get paintings. Mr. Hoxton, the art director, has decided to go for the classy proper route of actually painting the characters, painting every single card. Production-wise, that is unbelievable. They could have saved so much money, so much money, by going to the BBC, since they already have the license, like, we need this many pictures. They could have got them. Not a problem. They have not. You have painted portraits by a talented artist. That is amazing. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see this because it shows the commitment that cubicle seven has to create something special this is not just like pretty much any other doctor who game piece of crap put together that doesn't play well this is by a top designer top art direction fish fingers and custard I know people eat these things. There's something wrong with you. Ew. Anyway. Second deck. His fingers and casters. Can go over that. More beautiful paintings. That's not East Tenders, that's London. 
absolutely gorgeous. Proper, proper, beautiful, gorgeous. And so many of them. <laughs> this is just glorious. Look at that. Right, I don't have time to show you all these cards. And I really wish I did. But I'm running short of time already. I don't think I need to tell you this. Go and buy this. You know, I, I can't say any more than that. Just go and buy this game. It, it looks amazing. Production-wise, it's great. Top designer, top company. You just cannot go wrong with this game. You just can't. And I know it plays very well. So please, just, just stop watching this video and get out there and buy this game because it is so, so well worth it. Thank you to Typical7 for putting this out. Great.